Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. So, this big-ass fight here is still going on. Um, we've got two of these battle forges to deal with, and a Gargant, which is admittedly already quite damaged. Um, and then on top of that, there's a bunch of mega-armored knobs hanging around who need to be dealt with. Um, down here, this is pretty much broken. Um, we've, we've gotten through this line. It helps that we have Commander Dante and uh, Commander Tushan here. They're both they're both doing work. Um, the rest of our units. Oh, we can have our Stringer veterans actually shoot these guys. No, they don't want to. Come on, fire, fire the bullets. Zero damage. Okay. So these guys need to go and secure this other objective down here, and then they can turn north and help us out uh, up at this up on this front. Um, we also need to find a way to deal with this looted bane blade, which hopefully our stern guards can deal with, because uh, a lot of our other units are kind of busy at the moment. Uh, besides that, though, we have basically done everything for this turn, so it is the orcs go, and this is probably going to sting a bit. As long as our reaver titan lives, it should be okay. Oh, they... okay, they're devoting a lot of energy to killing off our scouts. And I'm actually fine with that. Oh, they got another looted bane blade. They're devoting a lot of energy to killing off our scouts. And not really a lot to fighting anything else, actually. It looks like most of our other units are getting out of this unscathed. There we go, they finally killed them off. Oh! Oh, God's cool Kraka has revealed himself. Um, I don't think we actually have an objective to kill him. I mean, you know, we're probably going to have to, but it's not like, you know, we need to divert forces to... Oh, that Stern Guardian got killed too. Ah, damn. That is unfortunate. Okay, now they're just moving all their units around. A lot of these units can't actually really fight any of my units. Oh! Scrigeth over there. Alright, that is all they're doing. Oh, they're Gargant. Oh no, there's Gargant. Okay. I thought the Gargant, like, died. Yeah, shoot that thing for me. Oof, taking a little bit of damage there. Um, yeah. This needs to rest for the turn so we can get a little bit of health back. The Vanquishers... Ooh. Oh wait, we have another Destroyer here. Right. Nice. Alright. Gargant, down. Uh, what is this? Predator Destructor. This one has the auto cannons, so he can deal with the Mega Knobs for me. So that's going to be his best bet. There we go. Um, where is the one with the last cannon? Oh, he's all the way back here. Ah, crud. Alright, I'm going to have to swing him around like this, but he can also shoot some Mega Armor Knobs for me. Um, that little unit of four Slugger Boys there is not something that particularly concerns me. Um, yeah, we can just kind of walk our... Ooh! Aha! That'll do. Wow, and we took zero return damage on every attack. Not bad. Uh, let's see, Yarrick, what can you do? Actually, hang on, if I park him next to the Reaver, will the Reaver get all of its health back next turn? And that would be kind of stupid, but give it a go. Um, now, Looted Bane Blade. We can hit that with our Stern Guards, who actually trade quite well against it. Uh, Land Raider, not so much, but what we might be able to do... Yeah, the Land Raider can fight Gazkul. As long as it stays at range, he can't really hurt it, so... There we go. Let's wear it down little by little. Um, the Stern Guards... Yeah, you guys can finish off that unit there. Nope, not quite. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Demolisher. Ooh, Demolisher can hit that Skull Hammer for us. Ah, so close. Yeah, hit that Bane Blade for me. Go. Um, we are actually going to have these guys pull back a little bit here and get them in a better spot. And ideally, hang on, we can actually move the Sanguinary Guard like so. The Stern Guard can get in this trench for cover. And they. Hang on, we can probably. Our Demolisher can probably. Nope. Ah, it's too close. Okay. Uh, the Demolisher can back off a step. There we go. Put that for me. Thank you. Um, which leaves the Sanguinary Guard able to fight basically everything around them right now. Although before we do that, let's have our uh, Land Raider here soften up these guys. Since they can't damage him in return. And the Stern Guards can actually also soften up those guys. There we go. Sanguinary Guard can now finish them off, hopefully. Yes. Nice. And we only took one casualty in return. Alright. Now all our artillery... Yeah, folks, that Skull Hammer down guys. Um, the other basilisks, we can... actually in range of things. Yeah, hit these, start hitting these uh, ludas for me, eh? 
Yeah, we're actually gonna bring this one up to hit that, uh... Oh, didn't get any damage on that, unfortunately. We do have this Vanquisher sitting here, though, who can... Let's see... He's probably in the best position he's gonna get right now. Why don't you hit that drop tank for me, eh? Wow! Did not expect them to kill that. Okay, that works. I'm not complaining about that. Uh, and actually, we can shift our bazooks up slightly, so next turn they'll have a better firing position. And we're just gonna stay where it is, because he's in cover. Yeah, everything else is actually destroyer up to here, so it can also be in cover. Um, I should just about cover that. Now, down here, we're just kind of clearing out the last remnants of these uh, forces. So, what we can do is get the Land Raider over here. Let's hit the Mega Knobs. Because they can't really reply. Um, the Basilisks... Let's move them up here. Yeah, we can't, unfortunately, get our... Uh, get our heavy bolters in to, uh, in to hit those guys, though. How do we want to go about this? I want these guys out of the way, but I don't really want to waste Commander Dante on them. Um, do we have a better option for that? Well, we can just hit them with a bunch of artillery, I suppose. Oh, they're so low. Uh, and then the Vanquishers can come over to help fight these guys. Just park out at range. There we go. Bring the destroyers up to yeah, right there should be good. Demolisher, damn, I was hoping the demolisher could get line of sight on them, but unfortunately, no. Uh, all right, well, okay, good. Our our understrength unit of stern guards can deal with them, which leaves Commander Dante and the Sanguinary Guard free to move up like so, and just completely ruin someone's day. That is a lot of squiggets over there. Uh, let's see, that is our actual objective over there. So we need some line of sight on that, ideally. Go. I'm solved. Uh, yeah, move up into cover for now. Do you have a range weapon? No, no. Commander Tushan is unfortunately entirely melee. Not that uh, Dante is markedly better, but... No. Hmm, yeah, there's no other crossing points either, so we have to go across that bridge. I guess means we're just going to park in the open for a little bit here and hopefully um, be able to hit those guys or get across the bridge next turn without too much casualties. Some of our units are unfortunately parked in the open right now, which there's not a lot we can do about. Um, but I think that is that for our turn, so go ahead, orcs. Do your worst. Am I, am I important units dead? Oh, jeez, they killed that Stern Guard unit right there. Um, the Predator's taking some... Oh, that's cool, just moved in and fought them in melee. Cripes, that would do it. Although he also took a lot of damage doing that, so... Not really a great trade on their part. I'm really interested in knowing if the, uh, if the Reaver Titan gets all its health back, because it's next to, uh... Next to, uh... Garrick. Nah, no, it doesn't. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Such is life. Uh, let's see. Where are my destroyers? Get them to fight that uh, looted bane blade. The land raider can just come up and try and get these guys out of the objective for me. Shouldn't be taking too much damage in return. Uh, let's see. Where's Gazgul? There he is. There's my good buddy Gazgul. We're just going to keep setting him on fire. Because I do not like him. And in fact, we're going to drop some artillery on him. That'll learn him. Uh, let's see. Garrick's Chimera is... I guess we'll just park it in the middle of all these tanks so they just keep getting their morale back every turn. Um, I wish that Bane Blade was a little bit closer so we could stay in cover and fight it, but unfortunately, we're not getting... Oh, there we go. Ugh. Um, we're gonna have to move up slightly to hit this one. And our Predator Destructor can continue fighting the Mega Knobs, try and get them out of the way. While... Wow! Yeah, um, actually, Predator Annihilator really can't damage that thing? Really? Huh. Would not have guessed that. Oh, have our, uh... Oh, no up there. Alright, well, uh, these guys need to keep going up this way, and I guess the Annihilator can just hit the Mega Knobs for me. Ah. Uh, right. Oh, we've got another... We've got all these other units that need to do things as well. Um, do we want to move the Sanguinary Guard into the open to hit that Bane Blade? How much damage will that do? They could kill it. 
They'll be in a rough spot, but uh, might be worth it. Let's get rid of that thing. Um, the demolisher. Just get rid of that unit for me, please. Um, what else can I bring up here? Have the Titan wait a little bit longer. And we can actually shift our basilisks up slightly. And they can start uh, hitting all those infantry that are out in the open there. What about this destroyer? Ah! Nope. Let's move over here. There we go. Oof. Ah! Full strength stern guard, or almost full strength stern guard squad. Uh, why don't we. Yeah, you guys can hit Gaz Cool. Yeesh. There's a chunk of damage there. Um. No, that's not a good idea. You guys, what am I gonna do with you guys? There's not really any good cover for you. I guess we'll just move you down here. Hopefully, uh, the AI will devote some energy to killing them. Now, down to the south here. Ooh, Commander Dante is quite low. We still need to get across this river. Um, can we make it across our transports? Okay, so there's just the mega knobs over there. Alright, well, everybody get across. Commander Tushan, who is not in a Rhino, or not in a Land Raider, which is weird, because he's wearing Terminator armor, and I don't think you can actually fit Terminators in a Rhino, so... A little bit of oversight there from the game, but whatever. Um, just move everybody across, and hopefully the Mega Armored Knobs won't do too much damage before we get a chance to actually fight them. Uh, Land Raider, commuting them, and we are going to start sniping at these Swiggets with our Tank Destroyers. Like so. One, two, no. One, two, three, there we go. Oh, hello. I forgot about you guys. Um, oh, our Thunderfire Cannon can hit these guys. Sure, that'll work. And we're going to bring our Basilisks up slightly. No, here. There we go. Try and hit those, uh, those Mega Knobs a little bit. We're not going to be able to get uh, all of them, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing. And just keep firing on them. And our Dante could move up into melee, but that seems like a terrible idea, so he's just going to shoot these guys and then back off into cover. The Stern Guard unit. God, there's no cover here. This is awful. Stern Guard unit, I'll just park over there, I suppose. And I think that is... We could move these guys out, but I kind of want to keep Gaskul from getting in the trenches. Yeah, I want to keep him in the open so we can get as much damage on him as possible. Oh, we have a Demolisher sitting here that hasn't done anything. We are going to move you to here, where you can hit a bunch of things from, and you're going to fire on those weird boys. We're going to try and clear that objective out. Am I forgetting anything else? I guess we can move this Destructor. Let's park him, park him in the middle of everything right there. And actually, we can probably move the Basilisks up. They don't seem to have anything to reply to the Basilisks. So we should be fine to do that, and we'll get them a, bit, a little bit better accuracy. Uh, what else? Anything else? Oh! You have a demolisher over here that I also haven't moved. And we can park this destroyer in cover, and we can actually move the land raider across the bridge here. Try and get him closer to the actual targets that we need to hit. Alright, that is everything I would say. Yep. Alright, orcs. Ah, crud, they got rid of my bankers. Took a lot of damage in return, though. Skullhammer. Man, these predator tanks are doing really well. Oof. That was what I was worried about. And Gazkul did not quite manage to get rid of the stern guards. It weirds me out that a lot of the health bars have, like, a cap. Like, the health bars aren't actually a percentage of their maximum health. The health bars go up to, like, 20 or something. And so if a unit has more than... No, it's just it's just for some of the units. See, Gazkul's health bar is full, even though he's lost about half his strength. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on over there. Um, we can hit these guys with our reavers, though. Oof. A fair, fair chunk of damage there. And then... There we go. Um, bring our... And destroyers. Oh, not quite. There we go. Uh, let's bring... Yarek's Chimera up here. Phew. Uh, where's my Land Raider? There you are. Come over here into cover. Unfortunately, Gazkul is now actually in, like, a defensive position, which is going to be a pain. Fortunately, we can also just drop lots of artillery on him. 
Kaboom, kaboom. Um, everything over here is basically... Oh, we have another Land Raider that we can hit him with. There we go. Yeah, see, now his health is actually... His health bar is actually going down. Because we've gotten below whatever the actual cap of his health bar was. That's a weird bug. Um, Predator Destructor. We're going to bring you up here. And you may as well just get rid of these Ludas before they cause any problems. Uh, what is this? Predator Annihilator, that's the one with the last cannons. We can bring you up to here. And you are also going to shoot your friend Gazgul. There we go. He is dying quite rapidly now. Uh, what else can we do? Ooh, Stern Guards. Bring up, we can hit those guys. Um, this three-man Stern Guard squad is not really going to do a whole lot. So we'll just leave them there. Hopefully they can act as a distraction. Ah, this Vanquisher. He's actually winning these fights from, like, point-blank range, but he's not going to win a whole lot of them. Can tear up these Slugger Boys, at least, and then probably back off to here. Thunderfire can hit the Ludas. He's going to take a bit of E. Yeah, that was a lot of damage in return. Uh, now, now that we're actually, you know, in a place where we can fight these guys from... It's kind of too Sean. E, he will die if we do that. Okay, let's not do that. And we can't move to that tile, even though that totally looks like it's part of the map. So, we are going to shoot these guys, and we're going to shoot them some more, and then the Sanguinary Guard can finish them off, and then Commander Tushan can finish them off. There we go. Okay. And there's our objective taken. Land Raider! Wow, Land Raider is actually taking damage from the Mega Knobs. Huh, interesting. Not sure uh, why that is. Usually they can't damage them. Anyways, we can bring the Land Raider up like so. And actually, ah, now we're not taking damage from them, I guess. Oh, defense minus 10 because we were technically on a river. That would do it. Uh, destroyers, I'm going to keep shooting these frigates. You for not a lot of damage, on all honesty. And what's this, Commander Dante? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do with you because you're really under strength. But we're going to have our basilisks start uh, hitting some of those infantry at the back there because they're... Those are really the best targets for our Basilisks. Along like so, and Stern Guards. Ooh. Ah. Okay, that's not really working out in our favor, is it? Huh. Alright, shoot the Mega Knops for me then. Yee. And I guess we'll move you guys up to here as well. Am I forgetting anything? Thunderfire, we could move... I guess we could back it up to this, uh, this fortification back here, since I'm sure the infantry are going to move up anyways. We can bring this Dreadnought up. We can just leave our artillery where it is. I don't want to get too close, because um, we could move them up to use their heavy bolters, but then they'll be in range of Gazgul's uh, big shooter, which will probably murder the shit out of them, so I'd rather not do that. Uh, ah, these Sanguinary Guard are in a not-so-great spot right now. I guess just hit those weird boys for me. Hopefully not take too much damage in return. Nope, they're okay. Alright, and I guess that is that. Wow, we've taken, what, like, one, two objectives? Yeesh, we've taken a lot of casualties, too. I hope they're not, I hope they're, they devoted a lot of energy to this counterattack, and that they're not going to have too much left, because otherwise this is going to be, uh, not so good. Uh, Commander Dante, I guess we'll move you up to here. Maybe we can get him into a position where he can do something later. Alright, orcs, go for it. Oh, Sanguinary Guard died. As did that understrength Stern Guard unit. Hello. As did that Stern Guard unit. Eesh. A lot of casualties. They can't, like, fight any of my armor, though. Like, they don't have a lot of armor penetrating stuff anymore. They, they've lost most of their... Um, most of their tank hunters, so... I'm not actually in a great spot here. All we really need to do is, like, keep some of our infantry safe to cap points, and just have our tanks coming up to clear all the objectives. So I'm actually gonna pull these Stern Guards just way back. We're gonna sit back there. I see they also decided to move their Ludas out into the open for some reason. There we go. Um, can move this Titan. Let's see. If we get to the minimum range here, which is like here. Okay, Gaskul cannot damage the Titan. This is good. Uh, Yarrick, move you into cover and have you just hit those guys. Uh, let's see. Predators. Let's just move them, like, right up into cover here. Uh, 
Uh, what am I gonna do with these destroyers? They're not really equipped for this fight. Like, with the orcs being basically out of armor right now, like, my predators are just kind of sniping at things. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Basil's pulled it out in the end. Alright, uh, anything else to move around here? I guess we could bring this Predator up. And this Demolisher can probably finish off the Weird Boys, actually. Nice. Okay, so next turn we can bring up our little Stern Guard unit to take that objective. Um, Land Raider can continue roasting the Mega Knobs for me. And the Destroyer, there we go. I'm not getting rid of one of the Squigs. Thunderfire Cannon. Um, yeah, just shoot those guys for me, eh? Go. Took a little bit of return damage there, but such is life. Now bring our venture over. Just finish off those guys. Okay. I am going to start having our basilisks hit these guys now, because we kind of need them out of the way. Ah, damn. Zero damage. Stern guards, on the other hand, can put a lot of damage on the mega knobs for us. Can we get anyone else in the melee? Ah, Sanguinary Guard. That should do the ticket. Perfect. Um, Commander Dante can move across to here. And he can do a little bit of damage, but he's going to take some in return, so have him wait. And everybody else can move their way over here. Get ready to get across that bridge. Uh, let's see. Land Raiders up to here. Like so. Move our Basilisks up slightly. Uh, Destroyers as well. Uh, I think that should just about cover it, and that is probably a good place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.